All right, welcome back everyone. Josh Perks is here. We're going to pick up where we left off last time with the uh, Exiles in the Heck here. I believe we had uh, Clan Rictus pushing in on us, as well as we had uh, Cult of Pleasure doing some very unpleasurable things, and uh, Marathi being, well, Marathi. So, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do about it. We gotta make sure that we uh, don't get absolutely stomped by her right off the bat. Um, but we should be all right. Uh, I'm thinking that what we're gonna be doing, if I remember right, is we will be. Um, oh gosh, what was it? That's right. We have so Clan Rictus took Plane of Dogs. We need to take Plane of Dogs back, as well as Marathi is sitting here at Clark Rond. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take back Plane of Dogs, I believe is my next move. Let's see, we got that. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do. But, uh, I believe we're going to take back Plane of Dogs, or were we going to move into the temple immediately? Let's at least do a treasure hunt on the temple, because we like treasure around here. We're greedy like that. All right. Sorry, I was getting my uh, my chat pulled up, making sure that I got it ready to go. All right, so, disturbing the dead. While well, scouting the outskirts of a recently ruined settlement, you notice on the edge of the town a small, secluded graveyard. The graves look remarkably fresh, considering that the whole place was abandoned in rather hurry. Mm. You know, let's see, leave the graves alone, dig up the graves, magically search the graves, search the area for tracks. I'm thinking search the area for tracks. I mean, we could dig up the graves. I mean, what are we going to find? More Tomb Kings? If anything, that would probably uh, build up our army. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's see. Um, you know what? Let's. Uh, we're not really magical people around here, so let's go for... Search the area. Oh, well, that was uneventful. <laughs> All right, so we'll see what Clan Rictus does. I'm worried about them coming up with plane of uh, coming up from plane of dogs. And uh, this third army doesn't need to sit here any longer. I did have them uh, have them sitting there because of the fact that Nagron is sitting there on top of us. Um, but the army has moved on, so we will move up and around, and then. We can move into Story Core, help defend this uh, eastern border here, and then we can move down to Plain of Dogs and take that southern edge again with Katep. So that's what we'll plan on doing. Um, let me see what I got. Mm. So I can get a couple carrion. That's about it because I lost Plain of Dogs. What a shame. All right, yep. Let's plan for the moment. Um, let's see what we got for rights. Recruit rank, we're not worried about at the moment. Um, Petra's Necrotech, that might actually be kind of nice. Don't know if I want to spend 4,000 gold on that, though. Really don't think I do. Uh, maybe if it was a main settlement, but not just an outlying settlement. So, let's check diplomacy real quick, see what we got going on here. Um, Nagron, I kind of want to keep happy, honestly. But I don't think that they're going to stay very happy with us for long. Nagrith, you and I have a defensive alliance. And I'm hoping that I can earn the love and affection of both Lothurn and Hexodal by being friends with you. That's truly the plan with you. Okay. That's what we'll do. Um, let's see, can we recruit any heroes? Oh, we're at our max on everything. Okay.
So we're going to see what Nagron does. That's really our uh, our major concern right now. Because if they decide to go to war with us and push down from that northern edge, we're going to have some serious issues. So I'm hoping that we don't have that. Because if they do, then we might be in some trouble. Yeah, yeah, Venom Glade, whatever. Hmm. I think we'll pass up on the temple for now. Dress me as your highness. Wow. Do whatever I want to do, Ares. Giving me that kind of lip. Go like that. Move him down to story core. Okay. And then we should be able to push on Clark Ron with him too. Okay. We're four turns from being able to build up to the next, uh, well, to the Tomb City, which will be nice. Nice little benefit there. And then hopefully we'll have plenty of dogs in the next couple turns as well. So hopefully we can turn this around in the turn there and keep moving. Um, I still have the quest battle to do with Gatep up there, with uh, or next to the Red Desert. Um, I'll probably get that finished off once I get uh, Planet of Dogs secured and putting in like a wall there. Um, I definitely made that mistake last time, leaving it undefended and just moving away from it. So, don't want to make that mistake again. Clan Rictus has plenty of agents moving around. Not a big fan of that at all. I'm just going to tab out real quick. Make sure we're not dropping any frames. We've been having that issue lately, so want to make sure that it's a non-issue at the moment. Okay, we look to be alright. Alright, a few bones and bodies. Servants sent, miscast. Oof. Negative 8% chance, a negative 20, and additional 20 magic. Um, I'm going to hang on to the jars for now. Just because we don't have too much of a... Uh, or so much of an income for them, so I'm kind of concerned that as soon as we go to spend them on something that we'll need them for something else. Uh, increased mobility is always nice. No one needs to replenish, so we can keep on moving. And who is that? Redhorn Tribe? They're at war with Argolon, which is not even close to where we are. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> um, you know what? We're probably going to not take a uh, non-aggression with him just so I can get some uh, easy fights in, some easy experience. Always nice to have another unassigned skill point around here. Um, Soul Blight. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Captain. Nice to see you, man. How's your day going? Oh, I'm still fighting off the sickness. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, yeah, I'll take a look to see where the books are real quick. So we got one up here. I'm pretty sure it's uh, Malekith up in there around Nagaron. And then we have one down here in the Cult of Pleasure. Ancient city of Quintex. Um, one down here in Hexodal. 
Hoping not to make enemies of Hexodal if I don't have to. Okay, we'll just go into this real quick. Okay, so there's one way down here. That's uh, Black Creed Raiders, so that's just one of those roaming uh, armies. Oh, awesome, man. Happy birthday. Hopefully you're going to celebrate it. Get out there and have just a little bit of fun. Uh, Dwellers of Zardok are the ones up north next to Nagaron. That's okay. That makes sense. Uh, okay, let's see. Occupy the settlement to take possession. Oh, that's a pain. So I basically, if I want that book, I have to go to war with them. This one is way across the ocean. That's going to be out of the way. They're basically asking me to go to war with Lothurn there. Wow. So the two guys that I want to be friends with are asking me to go to war with. <laughs> That's always great. Gives you a line of sight and resources you use. Oh, okay. I'll take a look real quick. Um, I know that they all give you the different benefits. Um, effectiveness of all commandments. That's actually kind of nice. Income from trade. Okay, so the one way down here with uh, Black Creek Raiders. That is a bit of a distance. Um, we'll keep an eye on that, though, for sure. I think our first targets are actually probably going to end up being uh, the effectiveness of all commandments up here next to Nagaron, because Nagaron's probably going to go to war with us. The fifth book. That's first. That's sixth. That's eighth. Second. Seventh. Fourth. Third, fifth, okay. Oh, yeah, the Tomb Guard capacity, army capacity. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Gosh, the only thing is, is that for that to happen, I have to go to war with Kron, which is just, I mean, they're kind of way out there at the moment. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's definitely a distance. So, yeah, no, that's uh, definitely an end goal for me. We'll get out there uh, sooner rather than later, hopefully, but... It's not going to be immediate. I still need to get this quest battle done. I got things on the home front still. We've got to get rid of Cult of Pleasure, though. I've got to slow down this uh, spread of chaos. So we'll move those two armies down like that. Uh, Katep's done moving for the turn. Um, I don't think so. I think it said I had to occupy the settlement for that fifth book. Yeah, I have to occupy, uh, the settlement. So, that's kind of a pain. It's like requiring you to go to war with certain factions. And right now, I just need friends. That's what I need. <laughs> I don't need any more enemies. really don't. No, no, I, I get it, Captain. I mean, some of them are rogue armies, some of them you have to occupy, and so. <clears throat> but, yeah, yeah, they want me to go to war with Lothurn and Hexodal, basically, which I was hoping to make them allies, so, the, you know, I could have a little bit of support against Nagarond in the end. But we'll see. We'll see how uh, we start to snowball here. Clan Rictus is now sitting down there at Temple of Adeoth again. Which is a pain. Is that Tretch Craven Sail down there too? I bet it is. I bet it's Tretch. It is. God, that guy. Is he within range? He is within range. Okay, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. So we don't suffer attrition in his land, which is nice. So we'll move all the way down like so. Hopefully he won't move over to Plain of Spiders. Keep him at bay like so. Uh, let's move into like our 50% mark. Interesting, interesting. So we could either start raiding or we could start sieging. And I'm thinking sieging is probably the best option at the moment. 
Oof. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't think I could take that fight if they sallied out to me. Yeah, I don't know. Those Blackheart Corsairs would mow me down. So, we'll break the siege. I don't think I can get them back into a raiding or a... Uh, no, I can't. Crap. That's fine. It's fine. Let's see, do we have any decent ambush chance around here? Doesn't really like it. Are we within range? We should be outside of range, right? See if we can't bump out just a little bit. Go to ambush stance. Hopefully Marathi doesn't come over. Yeah, yeah, I think uh rating's gonna be the best option. And we'll do that on the next turn. Sadly, I'm gonna have to take some attrition on this turn with him. So there's definitely gonna be some scaven in here. Yep. Hmm. That's actually a full army sitting there on top of the settlement. That's actually gonna be a rather fun fight. So let's uh let's pull this off. Yeah, I can always always take some more income from raiding. I will take that all the time. Okay, let's see. So we actually have a decent shield wall now. We got two tomb guards, uh, and then uh, two skeleton warriors on top of that. So we have a decent wall up front. Our archers are building up some serious chevrons here. I can get rid of that, and then we will start the deployment like so. Um, I didn't see any large units. Whoa, what is going on with my mouse? I want you. Okay. There we go. That was weird. Don't know what that was all about. So we'll spread them wide like so. Uh, being that they are scaven, they're going to probably have a wider line than us, which is fine, though. I might keep the uh, Nekar Warriors back, maybe. We are going to spread our archers a little bit here. Okay. Um, we'll turn off Skirmish. We don't have to worry about that too much. Get a couple chariots on the right, a couple chariots on the left. Ooh. Hey, Rich, how's it going, man? Get that hero titan up here in the front. Hard group them. All right, let's do this. Should be a good battle. Okay, so they do have a couple rat ogres on the left. Um, and a couple on the right, which is fine. This is what we'll do. Just give them some general targets like so. Those are scaven slaves, scaven slaves. Uh, or clan rats, excuse me. So let's have him moving out towards this side over here. We'll start tar uh, targeting down those rat ogres. Move on up here. Okay, so he's not within range. That's fine. This is what we'll do. Make sure that we babysit our chariots. We don't want to lose these guys. 
Don't want to lose these guys. That would be silly. Pop that there. Pop a banishment over here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let's get our Arcane Conduit going. Turn them around, get back in the fight over there. Ooh, we didn't pay attention. My bad. I thought we got you guys out of there. We got one unit out. The second unit did not get out. That's on me. There are some storm vermin in there too. That's not good. Go ahead and target them down. I need to get you guys over here on this edge, please. You guys in melee with... Okay, whatever. I need you guys on this other flank ASAP. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to lose that flank there. Alright, let's move you out. Get you guys moving out of there again. Sorry about that. Pop down the edge there. Hopefully take out those couple units. Are these chariots getting caught again? Get out of there. Come on. Oh, my mouse is being weird today. <coughs> I mean, this mom in here. <laughs> Get out of here, Rich. <laughs> I have friends, man. I swear. Alright, so we're getting all that handled rather steadily. So we're fine there. Should be going for a mass break here in a second, you would think. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Definitely shaking the rust off. You're not kidding. I've gotten a little bit better, Captain. A little bit. Not by much, but a little bit. I uh, didn't lose any units. Chariots did all right. I lost track of the one there on the uh, on the left flank that had the storm verm with halberds. That's why the two got injured and didn't get as many kills. Uh, Katep and the Lich Priest doing fantastic with their banishment and the uh, oh gosh, Skull Sandstorm. <clears throat> the rubber banded because one of them probably got caught in a group. Yeah, yeah, so that's, I don't know, like, like you're saying, if one, like, unit gets left behind or one model gets left behind in it, they all have to turn around and go back to it, but they have an order, a movement order saying that they need to go to a certain direction. you think they would follow that instead and just let the one catch up when it could. That me, you know, that would make sense to me, but what do I know? Not a damn thing. All right, so we could put them on the chariot next turn, but I think we'll... Keep building up the rest of this. All right. Ooh, yes. Skeleton Horseman, Necropolis. Ooh, nice, nice. 
I think this is going to help us first. Um, they're coming up here soon on the rank seven. And then we wanted to do Keeper of Lore for the extra magic. And then Commandment. Construction and tax rate. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Okay, and then that was the end of your movement. End of your movement. Nagarond isn't on the northern edge yet. And we've checked all of our buildings, right? Okay, so we should be all right for the most part. I think I'm going to get rid of this and put in a growth building instead. So. No. But how's it going, Rich Man? How's your day going? I'm still fighting off this uh, flu that I got here, so I sound raspy as ever, but I should be all right. Let's see. All right, we're done with all that, so we should be able to end our turn, and then we'll finish off Clan Rictus on the next turn here at Temple, and maybe subjugate them. We'll, we'll figure that part out. Yeah, and I mean, I understand what you're saying there, Captain, by uh, pulling them through instead of them uh, having to turn around in the army. The only thing is that they were facing like four units on that one edge there. And then uh, I think having them try to push through four units, especially when they were already in a uh, prolonged melee engagement, so they were no longer facing the way they charged. They were just kind of in there being surrounded. So I kind of like went with the, uh, the soonest way out of the mob. That was my thought on that one. Ambush foiled, yeah, 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 whatever. How much, uh... So let's do... Let's do one round of replenishment. I do like having an eye on this area. And then we'll do some raiding afterwards. Looks like Clan Rictus took off. Got out of here, yep. Um, you know what? I might actually occupy it. Because Ice Rock Gorge is down here, and I want that eventually as well. And this will give a buffer in between uh, in between Plane of Spiders as well. Master Charioteers, yes please, thank you very much. Star Core, um, you are losing public order like crazy now, but that's because of the corruption. That will give you one untainted. Public order will go up. Ooh, that's going to be rough either way. There's no real good way of getting around that one. No, absolutely, Captain. If I was babysitting them properly, um, is the game volume muted? Let me uh, let me double check on that real quick. Working on the uh, audio here. Just one second, guys. Okay, so it should be fine there. No, give me that. I wonder. Um, let me try. Let me try this. See if this helps at all. So if I turn that off. Playback. So it should be. All right, should be good to go. Um, how about now? Are you getting any uh, game audio now? Hopefully that's fixed it for you. Let me know if it hasn't. Um, like you know, I've been saying that's still a kind of a new streaming service to me, so there's still some issues that I'm working out with it. Certainly not perfect in my mind. 
Ooh, another nice fight. We will take that one as well. Awesome. But yeah, Captain, like you're saying, it, like if I'm if I'm on my on my game and I'm doing the three second roll with the chariots, then absolutely, then I'll pull them through. Especially on like one or two units if they're just charging into some archers or something like that in the back ranks, then absolutely pull them on through. Um, however, you've seen me play my uh, my uh, micro ability is not exactly the best. <laughs> So I usually end up forgetting them there for a minute or two. And in that minute or two, they usually end up getting wrapped in a little heavier than uh, they should be. And that's where pulling them through not... It is, you know, it's not saying that it's not an option, but it just isn't always the best option in my mind. Um, maybe one of these days I'll get better at my micro and uh, I can actually appropriately use them. But until that day, until that day... It's kind of a case-by-case -case basis. Pop you three right there. Pop you there. Hard group you guys. Not sure why I do that. I feel like I'm going the long route. Didn't we just play in this map? Pretty sure we just played on this map. <laughs> Whatever. We're here. Nothing we can do about it now. Okay. Cool. We're all grouped up. Let's uh, let's push this. Oh, I thought I could have sworn that I did this right this time. That I had. Group three on the left, group four on the right, but maybe I didn't. Just screwing up all the time. <laughs> no, that sucks to hear, though, Rich. I'm sorry you had a long day of doing, you know, just monotonous stuff, man. That's just it is what it is, though. I mean, we all have those days. Sometimes work is a little longer than you want it to be. Nice shot by the Hero Titan there. Awesome work. Good charge on the left. Bring them out. We'll get one of the chariots moving on through. Oh, I got some spawn back here. Get out of there. What do you think you're doing? Oh, come on. Don't give me that. How many times do I gotta pull you guys out of a fight? Drop a banishment in the back line. That should be getting to uh, the end of this fight, I would think. Let's regroup. <clears throat> we'll have our chariots continue to push on through and do some damage, but other than that, we should be able just to pull back real quick and do our damage where we need to do our damage at. There you go. Beautiful.
160 kills on the Lich Priest with that one banishment. Fantastic. 270 on the one chariot. 95, 89 on the other. 44 on the one uh, chariot. I think I lost track of that side there for a couple seconds, so that's probably what happened there. Gets up with 75 kills off the one sandstorm. Can't knock that. Can't knock that at all. Archer's doing all right. So... Definitely knocking the rust off, Captain. We're doing better and better as we go with this. You must as welcome. All right, so plenty of dogs will be happy here in a second. I got plenty of plenty of public order in that region there. Um, having the two uh, separate settlements here will help me with this new. Uh, New province. Then all we have is Vol's Anvil and Hag Hall. So that'll be nice. Mushapti. I would love to get some Mushapti. That'd be great. But we're not ready for it yet, sadly. Um, what was I doing? Okay. So chariots, tomb guards, and Nekar warriors, as well as skeleton warriors. That might be a good idea. Resurrect. Ooh, that's very nice. Let's go with Unfading Memory, I'm thinking, right now. Or actually, what's our warrior sitting at? Oh, they're all sitting in early ranks. I'm not worried about them. The archers might have been a little, uh, a little early as well on that skill point, so let's go for something else at the moment. There's missile damage. That's pretty nice. Reanimator. Uh, yeah, let's go with the reanimator. That's what we'll do. That extra leadership is always a good thing. Stop them from crumbling early. Uh, Strag core. Did I not? I didn't start building anything here yet. Okay, my bad. Um, I think we gotta go with the obelisk. Try to fight that uh, public order issue. And you're replenishing this turn. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> like I was saying in my stream yesterday, I think what I'm going to start doing is uh, Mondays and Wednesdays as a definite for my stream, and that'll probably be uh, um, a little more cemented here in the next couple weeks. But uh, other than that, I'm trying to figure out some time for the weekends, for like a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Um, however, that might just have to be like last second, just kind of decide to hop on kind of thing. Um, I mean, kind of this right now, so I guess that won't be... Hey, how's it going, Ark? I don't think we've seen you in a minute. Good to see you back. Um, I don't know if you've even uh, seen this uh, Exiles and Heck uh, campaign. Um... Were you watching the uh, Norska campaign? I can't remember. We're not giving you peace treaty, Tretch. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. Get out of here. But anyways, uh, so yeah, I think Mondays and Wednesdays um, will be my certainty, and I'm going to get a, a better time frame on that um, as I look into it a little more. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I don't know, because I usually end up working... Um, Fridays and Sundays, uh, usually late into the night, so maybe a, a morning stream on Friday and Sunday? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, I did start up a, uh, a Twitter. Never had a fucking Twitter before, but I have one now. Excuse my language, by the way. I can't always keep myself PC on this. But, uh, I did start up a Twitter, so hopefully I can start posting something on there, because I realized that I had no way of posting on there if I wasn't going to be able to stream a day or uh, maybe I decided to start streaming one day but not the other, that kind of thing. So. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. Oh my gosh. Uh, what what? Where are you, Ark? Are you like uh, overseas? Because I'm, I'm in Alaska, dude. So I'm, I'm way behind everyone on the time frame. Like for me right now, it's only 5.45 at night. So <laughs> it, I got... You know, I, with all the different time uh, zones, I, I don't know what to say on that one. Um, I can really try and uh, change up my stream uh, times on different days so that I can, uh, you know, work with everyone in 
a fashion, but I can't promise anything. You know what I'm saying? Oh, from Siberia. Yeah, that's a little bit of a distance. A little bit of a distance there, man. And our time zones are extremely different. Um, we'll take that easy win. Thank you very much. Um, honestly, we're doing great on money and on canopic jars right now, but... 9.45 for Captain. Um, well, I'll tell you what. Maybe on, like, uh... On like Sundays and on like uh, well like Saturdays maybe, um, but like I'll try some morning streams on the weekend. Do like uh, morning streaming out there in my time, so it should be a little uh, closer to evening for you on that one, Ark. But uh, I'm trying to trying to balance it out. Do some morning uh, streams for me and some evening streams other days. That way I can try to you know address other viewers. But I'm still working on it, man. <laughs> I'm still working on it. It's it's all a work in progress to me. This is all still brand new to me, man. You know, I've only been doing this for I mean, like a little, maybe a month now. So, it's all brand new to me. I'm using a new streaming service now versus the one that I used for a month, so I'm trying to figure that one out and it's all it's all coming together, but it's uh it's taking its time. So, if you guys can think of anything, and they have a barracks, you might want to consider recruiting the extra neck or as well you can. Before. Oh, yeah, nope, good idea. Good idea, Captain. That was something I probably could have done. But you know what? You know what? I am just way too impatient for that. <laughs> That's really what it comes down to. I just decide to click buttons and I do things now. Um, but no, that's definitely a better idea. So let's see. All right, so next turn we should be able to move into Hag Hall. And we could probably get Aga... Uh, Nagrathair, Lethanar, to help us out with Hag Hall, which would be beautiful. Um, Vol's Anvil is probably the last one for Clan Rictus, and King Ares should be able to move into Vol. So then we can focus on this top corner here. The only thing that I'm really worried about at the moment is Red Desert. I don't like that they're completely undefended from Shrock Talk, but Nagron hasn't shown their face yet, so we should be alright. Um, we'll end our turn there. Hindsight Warrior. <laughs> I need that, man. I need that. That's why you're here. You're here to keep me in check and uh, and give me those pointers because I need that. I really do. I mean, you guys have seen little hints that you've given me here and there, man. And it's really helped me. It's really helped me become a better player. So thank you for that. Please keep them coming, really. I mean it. And if anyone else has them, please. I mean, even if it's something that I'm doing dumb or... Whatever it may be, I need all the tips and advice you can throw at me. Um, but yeah, um, so like I was saying, my please. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. Thanks. Oh my gosh. It's like a mirror shield. You can see what's going on, but in the past. Um, advanced military infrastructure for sure. We don't have any advanced military buildings going on at the moment, so I will take that. I do need to defend against that rebellion. So what I'll do is I'll sit back on the edge. Because as soon as that rebellion pops in the next turn, I should be able to take it. Or to defeat it, excuse me. Let's see what's going on down here at Vol's Anvil. Oh my goodness. That's a larger armor than I expected. <laughs> um, we'll start sieging. That's what we'll do. We will just start sieging. But uh, like I was saying, I'm gonna hopefully, um, I'm hopefully start using Twitter. I don't know how to use it. That's another thing I gotta learn. Social media is not my strong suit. Um, faction wide, that is nice. Fruit rank plus two. Okay. Uh, ooh. Five percent physical resistance. Man. They got so many things that I want. Can I have all of it? Is that a thing? Um, let's put you in a steed, actually. That way I can keep you out of danger. And it won't let me get all the way over there. That's a pain. Um, that's fine. Let's go to Ice Rock. We can finish up. Um... Punishing the skeleton warriors there. 
Awesome, we can replenish, or we can uh, recruit more skeleton archers. Oh, I keep getting distracted. I'm trying to say something, and then I keep getting distracted. I apologize. Um, so I'm going to hopefully uh, start using Twitter, social media. I have my social media accounts on my profile, so you guys can uh, look there if you have any questions about it. But I will hopefully be um, using them to stay in contact with you guys a little more so that um, you guys will know, like, or get a heads up when I'm t intending to stream. Um, my Instagram's on there, which my Instagram isn't really a communication device that I'll be using. It's more of just, it, it is what it is. It's Instagram, dude. If you guys, if you guys want to see what I'm doing up here in Alaska, then, uh, then you guys can look at my Instagram and that, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you about it. It's just, it is what it is. Um, that's really all the social media I have, so... I hope that's all you need. Um, that's everything there. Imminent Rebellion. Yeah, we know that that's going to happen. And then we've already taken a look. There's nothing to build, right? Yes. Okay, so armies are good. Lich Staff. Yeah, we know that one. Ooh. 22% magic resistance and affects allies around. Wow. Oh, no. It affects enemies around you. Excuse me. Negative 22%. Ugh. That would be very nice. Holy crap. Three turns? Um, let's see. Wound, 42%. I don't really care for that too much. Forty-one percent. Um oof. You know what? We're gonna try it. I mean, there's only a 1% chance, or 2% chance of hero wounded, so I'll take that. Failure, that's fine. It's fine. We didn't expect you to succeed on that one. Hopefully, though, he doesn't have any chance of assassinating you. That's the main hope on that one. Um, chariot's not on fire. <laughs> nice. Um, cool. All right. That should be the end of this turn. Yeah, no, absolutely, Ark. I'm looking into that as well. Um, I need to build up uh, a couple more barracks as well as um, I want to start building up uh, for constructs. So for our Ushapti, our Necrosphinx, and uh, Cameron War Sphinx and the like. Ooh, they want to come out and face me, do they? Mm, I don't like the Plague Claw. I really don't. I don't like that at all. Uh, Tretch is a pain, as always. Mm. Melee specialist. What do you guys think? You guys think I should take this fight? I think we could win, but I think we'd come out pretty hurt afterwards. And honestly, we're not terribly far away with uh, Katep, so we might just be able to step back and raid is what I'm thinking. I think that might be the best option in my opinion. So... Ooh. Yeah, I think I'm going to step back from this one uh, just because it's early on and we have Cult of Pleasure next to us as well as uh, Nagarond is sitting up north, so we're going to step off and we're going to... we'll raid from here on out with them. As well as Tretch might move south. Uh, no, Tretch shouldn't move south. What am I saying? Hag Hall is Cult of Pleasure. So, we'll, uh, we'll see where this goes, though. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Uh, we'll probably siege Hag Hall for a minute to build up some towers there. We definitely need to get some towers built up for that one. Um, we do have the, uh, the Hero Titan, but I like having, uh, the towers there, especially since it's, uh, you know, well... I still have a couple skeleton warriors in uh Valiant, yeah. Hostile hero, yeah, yeah, yeah. Raiding, okay. Public order, not a problem, not a problem. Awesome. You know how we fix that though? Smack it down real quick. Thirty jars, two hundred and eighty. I like the jars. Suspect 
Let's see. Sun Scorch Bones. Yes, please. Thank you very much. All right, Katep. Who are you? You're not the right guy. Oh, I want... Oh, oh, there he is. 32%. Holy crap. That took a dive. Did I have some special thing going on there? Your action cost. Oh, Lich Priest Buried. Um, this cast. Extra cost. Oh, I don't know what the difference was there on that one. Alright, so... One, two, three, four towers is what I'm counting. Four sets towers. So we'll continue that siege there. Um, we will put you back into the army, just because you're not doing any good out there. Let's see. 31%. Yeah, I must have had some kind of buff going on that I'm unaware of at the moment. Let's see. Soul Blight, Power Drain, Fate of Buna, yes, please. Or the Purple Sun. The Purple Sun is a fantastic spell. Oh, sorry, Eric, I'm just now seeing your message. If I would have seen it earlier, I would have fought it just for you, man. Let's see. Mm. God, this costs so much magic. Like, the purple sun costs less magic, man. Hmm. We'll do Fate of Buna. Let's, uh, let's go into Raiding Stance, and let's see what's going on up towards Venom Glade. Let's see if Marathi's still sitting up there somewhere. And then, take a look at our settlement. Is there anything to build? Making sure they're not too unhappy with us. We look fine. And then... Malekith has not made an appearance on the North Edge, so we should be fine. In the turn there. But how you doing, Ark? You said it's uh, morning for you? What do you got going on today? Hopefully it isn't something... You know... It's going to be a drag, like, working all day. I hope not. I mean, it's the middle of the week, so it happens. But I hope you got something fun going on. I don't know why, but in the uh, in the chat, it just has you guys all as like orange, red, uh, some kind of like orange hue, and then it's oh gosh, it's looking at like a lot of the same colors here. Block army critical failure. Okay, good, good. I don't want you to block my army. And now you're recruiting. I don't like that at all. Fifty-two percent. Stay there. Yes. Making that money. And then we're still sieging here. That's like four turns out. They'll be fine. Let's move on up here. Venom Glade looks undefended. So thinking we should move up and take that on the next turn. And then we can move this army down and take Falls Anvil as well. That's my plan. Um, I think that'll be the end of Cult of Pleasure up on this side here. They still have Hag Hall, obviously. Uh, but it looks like Hag Hall and Ancient City of Quintex and then Marathi is done for. I'm at work, no choice. <laughs> That's a shame, man. Uh, that's a shame. It's Captain's uh, 21st birthday, so hopefully he'll be having the fun for you. You can root him on during that. Let's see. So we should be good to end the turn. 
Uh, let me double check the settlements real quick. Da da da. Ooh, hello. More chariots. Yes, please. Um, I might get rid of that, uh, oh god, it looks like a, a Greek kind of, like, pavilion, uh, it's a horseshoe, whatever, I'm forgetting the name of the actual structure there, it gives me the, uh, I do drugs in my work, get out of here, you. Um, but, what was it saying? Oh, it's the uh, the one that gives you the movement uh, range as well as uh, a little bit of cash. Might get rid of that in Red Desert and put in a uh, a uh, advanced military building there here in a second because I think we can put in a new Shopti building in there. Oh, come on! Why? Why? You buggers! Whatever, we'll do it. We will do it. <laughs> yeah, 150 gold. Mm, yeah, we're gonna get rid of that. We'll put in a uh, that new shop to building. I'm thinking that'll be nice. Power drain, please. Thank you very much. Submit to your king. I reign. Stretch still involves he is. That's fine. My the chariots arise, my Good easy chariots. fight. Rise. Mm. My new I don't think we want to settle this one, do we? No, we do have a settlement in this one already, so... We'll go ahead and occupy. Yep, Sorry, right, Core. That's fine. Hotex Column? Is that... That's probably more Clan Rictus over there, I'd bet. Or uh, Clan Septic, one or the other. Which, Clan Septic and I are friendly at the moment, I believe. Three more turns, and then we'll be able to take this without a problem. We fight. Keep an eye on that southern edge there. If he would just move in and support me, we could take this sooner rather than later. But he's just sitting outside of the reinforcement the zone. Will rise again. Destroy them. See if I can't get him to target Hackall for, for me real quick. I look in shadow. There we go. Hopefully, on the next turn, the turn after, he'll uh, support me in taking Hag Hall, which will minimize my losses and help me move up to Vol's Anvil. Um, I might move this army into Venom Glade. Or move him past. It depends on the replenishment, because these guys need a second to replenish. Um, we do have time for chariots. Or not time for chariots, but we do have the ability to recruit more chariots, as well as Nanakar Warriors and Archers, which is nice. Um, so let's go ahead and just merge you two. There we go. Get some net car warriors in there. That'll be nice. And then you already have four chariots. I think I'm fine with that at the moment. I need to build up this army though. They have no archers, one tomb guard unit, and the rest are all just skeleton warriors. So I'll probably move them into Venom Glade here in a second, and then these guys next turn will move, or two turns, excuse me, will move out. That's the plan. Yeah. See how well it works out though. <laughs> Let's see, no one on the northern edge yet? No? Alright. And, oof. I don't like that. I don't like how quickly that's depleting get rid of that um, how many how many chariots can I have at this point can I have eight chariots there or, si or eight of the uh, the melee chariots and six of the uh, missile chariots the archer chariots oh, whoop 
Nope, that's not what I wanted to look at. Thank you. Okay, so... And then we can get the Skull Catapult here as well. Okay, gotcha. Um, and I do have another army coming here soon. Am I upgrading a chariot building over here? I am. Hmm. I guess we'll keep it here. No, I think we can get rid of that one. We can put in another public order building. Or a growth building. I think that would be better used over here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Hmm. I say that, but then I see that. Ah. You know what? We'll hold off just for one turn. We'll hold off just for one, one turn. We don't need it right now. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. I get way too wrapped around the axle on some small things like that. Oh, gosh. So what do you do for work, Ark? Hopefully something at least mildly entertaining. I would hate to hear that you're stuck doing something you don't like to do, man. Oh, gosh. Hopefully Hotek's Column isn't Clan Rictus. I think it might be, though. Um, so we'll move over there here in a second. Uh, and by in a second, I mean once things actually uh, pan out and I can finish up Vol's Anvil. We'll see if they have moved out. I gotta see if Tretch Cravingtail is uh, still there. No, he... Oh my gosh, he moved so far. You bugger. I did not... Uh, poor planning. Fine, 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 fine. You want to move like that? We'll take Vol's Anvil. Seems like a fair trade for me. <laughs> Ally mobilizes to settlement, but all he does is sit still. <laughs> Gosh. Do something. All right, we'll do a growth building. I'm not worried about the chariot building here anymore. Get rid of that. Yeah, I know settlement upgrade available, but guess what? Tretch is going to be a pain in my ass. God, get out of here. Of course you would move around this side like that. Red Desert, what can we do for you? Ushapti, don't mind if I do. Yeah, I think we want Ushapti. That's what we'll do. Then over here, we could do growth, which is always nice. Finish that off. Okay. Ice Rock is not going to like the fact that we're going to lose Temple here in a second, but it is what it is. We will learn from our mistakes. Yeah, sorry, Ark. Right now, I don't know if it's like I'm mumbling or what it is, but uh, I'm fighting a flu right now. So, I'm kind of stumbling over myself at times. <laughs> so, I apologize on that one. Um, but that's awesome, dude. That sounds like something that, you know, you don't just fall into accidentally. Is that something that you, uh, you had to study for, like university, something like that for? Okay, so we got that. Done there, and then we will end the turn. Ugh. So, uh, on the note of streaming on the weekends, so this weekend I work. Oh, fantastic. I got him to move back. I work, uh... Oh, sorry about that, Ark. <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot, man. 
I'll tell you what. I'll uh, I'll try to do my best uh, to speak clearly at the moment because my voice is uh, r trying to run away from me. Um, but that sounds awesome, though, man. Architectural lighting. It really does. I mean, because that sounds like something that you actually have to uh, put some good thought into. I mean, it's not a, a mind-numbing job that I, you know, that some of us get stuck into. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's let's venture out from Venom Glade. I want to see. How much do you want from you want twelve hundred to search that? No, I'm not paying twelve hundred. We'll go over here and we'll see who's in it. Is that Clan Rictus? Is that who this is? Yes, it is. Why do they have? I got three storm vermin. Oh, it's because they have walls. Is that really the only reason? Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, we need one, two, three, four, five sets. For the creator God. That's fine. That's what we'll do. Venom Glade. Nehikara will be mine. Um, we do really need to work on the corruption at the moment. I'm thinking that's going to be a big thing to fight back. However, I think putting in some walls on it right now would be nice as well. So that's what we'll do. Uh, we'll we'll look at uh, the design, if you will, for what we have in those uh, settlements later on. But at the moment, I think it's probably the best way to go with them. I might be trying to expand too fast. I might have to rope myself in. Uh, next turn, we'll be able to take Hag Hall, which is nice. Oh, that's awesome, man. Telecommunication engineer, so does that mean, is that like laying the lines uh, to expand like networks and like upgrading them? Or is that uh, is that something else? Is that something more to do with like the the software side and uh, improving like drivers and, you know, the actual process within? Let's see, done here, research available. Ooh, does that mean we can have another army now? Is that is that what I'm hearing? Right? No? Maybe? I think so. Skeleton archers, hello. Don't mind if I do. Bone giant. We can have another army. Alright, who we getting? Who we getting? Let's see. Captain. Captain, you still here, man? I know that uh, you've been quiet for a little bit, but I assume you're still here. I'm thinking I'm going to get this one and name it after you because I would name it after our good friend Rich there, but he's just always dogging on me, so he gets to come last. Let's see. Discipline, melee attack, and leadership. You got cunning with poison and ambush chance. And you got strong, which is just basically affecting the Tomb King himself. Ooh, a little extra armor, a little melee attack, and weapon strength. What do you think, Captain? I'm thinking thinking this guy up here with discipline, personally. Um, or you can, uh, we'll hold off and we can get... Oh no! Here we go, we need Rakash. So we need Rakash for sure. Can't forget about him. Let's look at our, uh, you know what? This is what we'll do. I don't care about your name. Can I change your name? I can change your name. Hello. Let's see. Um, let's just go with Captain. I like Captain. I was going to go like, oh, Captain, my Captain. But then I realized that might be too much. So, Hand weapon. Ooh. Enchanted item, potion of speed. Let's see, talisman, no. Nothing. Casting item? Fantastic. Always good to take a look at those things. Hardware? Okay. Awesome, man. Yeah, I don't 
really care for electricity too much. I know that, I mean, you're doing telecommunications, which isn't like high voltage all the time or uh, high average either, but I don't care for electricity. I really don't. Um, I shock myself all the time and I'm not a huge fan. So, but that's me. <laughs> I know that I constantly screw things up. So, let's see. Got that. We're done building there, done building there. We gotta worry about public orders, our main issue right now. We should be able to settle that as corruption goes down. And I'm building some public order buildings. Where are we looking over here? Okay, so this one should be going, yeah, more untainted, going towards 77%. Okay. So let's end the turn there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so 60 volts. Gotcha. Yeah, so I mean, because your, your basic uh, residential structure over here for us is uh, 110 volt. So 60 volt, I as much as I don't care for it all, I would still feel safer with that. Oh my gosh, I forgot about their ambush tactics. How could I forget about that? The captain, I just named you, and this might be the end of you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, well, we're, at least we have the high ground at the moment. And I'm hoping they spawn underneath. Or underneath, on the downhill side. So, this might be rough, but I think we can pull it out. I think we can. It's not going to be great. In Russia, it's 2020. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we use that for, uh, like, high-end appliances, so, like, your, uh, not high-end, but high-usage appliances, so, like, your refrigerators and ovens and such. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's get this scrolled out, please. Oh, not like that. Ah! I need back in. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do this, actually. Let's get a line, like, here. Um, let's put these guys into a melee. Let's have them charge in real quick just to keep them at bay. Let's get our archers moved back. Hold a flank on this side. Uh, no, 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 no. I want you guys over here, please. Come on. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Come on. My bad. I kept you in there too long. Kept you in there too long. It's on me. That's on me. Oh my gosh. This is why I'm terrible at this game. This is why. Right here. And they just blew up those guys too. Son of a biscuit. So it was not a pretty start, but we might be able to make something happen out of this now. Alright, so everyone is engaged now. Let's keep popping that Spirit Leech. Let's get some Cycle Chargers in with these Chariots. Tretch Craven's Hail is way behind us. Did not even know he was back there. I guess that's the whole idea of Tretch Craven's Tail, though. You're not really supposed to know he's there. Uh, 
Um, actually, let's keep you up here in this fight. They're Tomb Guard. They should do their job just fine. Let's get you on that back edge. Pop the Spirit Leech on Tretch. Ark, I'm from Alaska, man. I'm up here in the cold with you. Yeah, keep uh, hitting those storm vermin, please. Knock those guys out of this fight. Oh my god, did they just do another explosion on me? Those buggers. Looks like we're defeating Tretch over there. Let's help these guys out here in this fight. Is he just running right past me? He is. That's fine. Keep on running. I don't care. Keep firing on Tretch, or not firing on Tretch, but keep uh, the pressure on Tretch. Okay, they're out of the fight, man. You can come on back. Um, let's see. Okay, so you guys are out of the fight now. Back in that fight. Get you chasing after them. You're not in a fight at all. Let's actually get you back here. Helping out those Tomb Guard. Take down that Assassin. Um, we'll keep one chasing after them. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll we'll bring one back. Come on. Come on back. Uh Clanner has some shields, maybe not the best unit to try to fire at. Escape and slay spears, I like that a little better. Chase him down real quick. Chase down those clan rats real quick. Beautiful. That's what I was looking for. Awesome job there with the archers. Keep on that fight, please. Go ahead and dive back into those guys there. Archers are out of ammo. It's fine. Let's have them support that fight there. <laughs> I could be Russian. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I don't know if I can speak the language very well, but at the end of the day, I can relate. I can relate. And that's half the battle. They're all trying to dive in on that, uh, to support Tretch there. Which, I mean, a decent idea at the end of the day, but I don't know if it's the best idea. Cleaning up that flank there. 
how is he still alive, man? Do your job. You got one job. Do it. Go support our sorcerer there, please. Alright, so we're done on that side. Let's move him on back. Storm Vermin with Halberd's not exactly the best opponent. Ooh, let's tie them down and actually get their flank. Alright, hang in there just a little longer for me, bud. Come on. And that should be getting towards a mass route, right? I would think. I would most certainly think so. Doesn't look like it, but should be. God, we're still fighting hard on this side too. Definitely gonna lose a few units out of this fight, but hey oh. Alright, let's clean up this army though. Let's make sure they don't come back for more. Tretch is gonna get away. We're not gonna be able to catch him. Oh. Maybe the chariots can catch a couple, but that's about it. Alright, we'll end the battle there. So we didn't lose the chariots, we didn't lose the archers, and we didn't lose our one tomb guard unit. So all in all, like I'm pretty happy with how that went. I mean, for being ambushed by Tretch Craventail, I lost two skeleton warriors, one with shields, or excuse me, one with spears. I lost a skeleton spearman and one uh, standard skeleton warrior. 331 kills on the one chariot here, 152 on the other. 70 kills on the archers, pretty decent. I'll take that. Um, tomb guard, uh, uh, tomb guard with halberds here. Did fantastic against Tretch. Just tied him up for basically the entire fight. So. Uh, you know what? I'm actually pretty happy with how that went. Thousand gold? Don't know. That could be pretty decent. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's do it. And we're still raiding them, so we're making more money. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. What do you do out there in uh, Siberia though, Ark? What do you do for your hobbies? I'm I'm assuming you guys have pretty similar terrain as we do, being in, you know, the same kind of latitude. Um I mean do you do any hunting, any fishing out there, anything like that? Dynasty reaches Aha, yes. Fantastic. And Captain will be happy to know that he didn't die after his, uh, his first battle. <laughs> that would have been awkward. Um, okay, what was he doing? Good Lord. Rakash. Um, couple. Yeah, okay. So it wouldn't give us any more chariots, sadly. Um, he will have a new Shopti in his army, though, which is going to be nice. Let's go for... I'm thinking growth. Let's go for growth. Mm. That's a shame. Man, we lost a couple units out of that one, though. You know what? That's probably not the best way to go about that one. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do for that. You guys are still sieging down there. And then we should be able to take Hag Hall this turn. Fantastic. We're taking Hag Hall. It's happening. It's ours. Gosh. So this should be 
pretty easy fight, I would think. We got eight towers in total, so all of our melee infantry will be in towers. Our archers will be able to support us. And then the hero titan will uh, take down a gate, and then we'll run the chariots in and take out anything that's sitting back there guarding their, uh, their cap. So, that's what I'm planning on doing. I like it, I like it. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll just... I think I'm going to spread you guys out just a little... Oh, okay, that was weird. And it really spreads you guys out. I guess it's not a problem, but... Oh, yeah, now it's nice and tight. What is this? Whatever, this is what we'll do. What is this what we'll do? We'll move, like... Oh, my gosh. Move like so. Hard group you guys. You three, you are in a group. And we'll move. Hmm. I think we'll move our archers on the far left flank. And we'll keep our lords on this right flank here. That's what I'm thinking, anyways. Let's see if it works out. But hopefully, the archers will take less fire so they can support us a little more. As well as the chariots can stay over here. Seeing as they're not going to do anything until that gets knocked down. Oh, right on, man. Right on. Yeah, I, uh, I try to avoid living in the city. I try to stay out in the woods as much as possible. Um, I do enjoy the amenities of life, such as electricity and, you know internet obviously but I like to be away from a city as much as possible not a city guy by any means it's just not my thing we're actually gonna bump that over like that put you right there okay so that's what we'll do with you guys you three will move you up to give you kind of leadership and magic support Oh, fantastic. I like the looks of that immediately. Put you guys like so. Uh, Hero Titan, let's go bust down that gate. Poor Favor. Q, I hope you don't need time to go from the stream, man. You're in the middle of a battle. Hopefully you're talking about time to go get some in this fight. You'd be missing out. I know it's not exactly high speed at the moment, but it will be. You just watch. I wish you could pop that right there. That would be so nice. I don't think we're going to lose any towers either, which is really nice. Oh my gosh, that one wants to leave us though. Oh, there's not even any. What am I even worried about then? Come on up. Get a good angle. And then with these, we'll move them up. Um, we'll move them up here. They're going to take some shots from the archers as they go by, but they should be all right. Go ahead, get them to that fight. They'll do fine. Give you guys a little melee buff. Buff you up a little more. Okay. Alright, so now what we can do is we can run these guys into that black guard there. Fantastic work on this side, boys.
Then we're going to move you right over here. Give that leadership buff. Let's see, let's see. Uh, we'll pop it on you, because why not? They do have guard mode on. I <laughs> would be on the doorstep. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, man. Uh, no, it's awesome, though. I mean, you get out there, you actually, you know, enjoy some of the outdoor stuff with those, so that's, you know, nonetheless, we can relate on that. Um, I tried my first hand at uh, uh, big game hunting this year, and it was not successful, sadly. Um, but I went for uh, moose and uh, caribou. And uh, a friend I was hunting with got his caribou, so that was cool. It was uh, cool to learn. However, I did not get mine. I did not get my caribou or my uh, or my moose. But next year, hopefully, is different. Hopefully, next year I actually. Uh, I pick up my uh, my moose or my caribou. Either one would make me very happy. And then, uh, like talking and also looking at the same time, it's not working out very well. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then after that, um, I also do a lot of uh, fishing. So in the summers, I'm quite busy. <laughs> You know, I uh, especially being here in Alaska. If you don't, if you don't take it, you know advantage of being uh, avail or all these available resources like that, then you know you're wasting wasting a uh, precious opportunity, in my opinion. Is that gate busted down yet? Are we done with it? Let's take a look. Yep, he's just chilling. absolutely negated their archers on this far wall here. Yeah, I mean, it's not for everyone, man. And uh, honestly, I've been uh, doing a, uh, a different type of fishing uh, in recent years. It's uh, called dip netting. Um, so it's, you literally just walk in off the beach and put a net to the ocean. And you catch, uh, you catch salmon as they try to start uh, swimming upstream. Uh, into the river so they can go spawn. So it's not your uh, traditional type of fishing by any means. Um, but it's really enjoyable, it's really relaxing. Um, pretty cheap to do also, which is also a nice benefit. And uh, I get a ton of fish, which is at the end of the day what I'm going for because I eat those fish. That's uh, Fishing's not just a, like a pastime for me anymore. It's you know a legitimate source of uh, food for the year. As well as it's just a good time, you know. Victory! That went very well. Archers did a fantastic job on that one side there. Melee fight went very well with the Tomb Guard and the Nehekar Warriors. Putting in plenty of magical buffs for them. Black Guard did not go down very fast, but to be expected. Oh, goodness. But yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Um, I do a little bit of uh, freshwater fishing as well. Um, lakes, mainly. And I usually go for uh, northern pike. And uh, pike are just entertaining, you know, because they're an aggressive fish. I don't really recommend eating them so much, but they're uh, very aggressive and uh, they're fun to reel in. And if you get to a bigger one, they can be fantastic, a fantastic fight, which is really what I'm looking for. Um, chariots, nah, I'm good. 
And then... We do want that public order, though. We also want growth, though. We'll go public order for now. We can change it up here in a second. You're recruiting. You're sieging. We got research available. Let's see, what do we want? What do we want? We want the extra damage for our archers. That's what we want. So... Oh gosh, what do you guys think? Um, I think it falls anvil in the next turn, probably. Lay siege to it. Uh, Captain here will be good to go, and then uh, on the should be good to go. Contempt should be good. Uh, ugh, can't even talk. Talking's rough. <laughs> Contempt should be good to go, and I can move on up to Vol's anvil to support. Uh, Tretches should be heavily beaten. Yeah, he's just now replenishing. Replenishing fast though. So, yeah, no, absolutely, Ark, man. I, I love getting out there. I just love being out there and uh, enjoying enjoying uh, the quiet, if you will, enjoying the, the peace of it. Ooh, we could get extra Tomb Guard, melee attack for Chariots, which is always nice. Cool down for Sandstorm. You know what? We're going to do it because I love using that. Did I just hear a follow? I'm still you, you know, getting used to this thing. I heard some kind of dingling in my ears, and I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> um, if someone followed me, I think someone did. Welcome, and thank you for doing so. Um, otherwise, if I'm hearing things and I'm talking to myself, then don't mind me. I do that sometimes. Let's see. Shopti. Ooh. Yes. Because we have the Ushapti building coming in here soon. Promising student. Which we this? Oh, I should have done that. I forgot about that. That is what it is. Um, time war. Mortality. Awesome. Alrighty. Um, so, I think that's the end of this turn, right? Is there anything else I need to do? Nah, uh, looks looks pretty good. Looks pretty solid. Oh no, I need to go back up to this army. Make sure he's recruiting. That's what I need to do. Um. Okay. Yeah. So. Ooh. Wow. We got all kinds of things to recruit now. All kinds of things. Hmm. We'll have to take a look at that next turn. That's what we'll do. Um. And the turn there. Keep moving on. Yeah. No, but I mean, I, I love it, Ark, man. Like, I I try to be as diverse as I can in the things that I do. So, I mean, here I am streaming video games like two days a week. But in the summer, man, I'll be out there just for a week in the woods, you know. It's just it's what I like to do. I like to get out there and uh, go for go for big game is my new thing. Uh, I only have that first year, and then hopefully next year I can actually be successful in it. I'm getting more dinglings in my ears. <laughs> If you guys, uh, if anyone's following me, please put it in the chat. Help me out here, Ark. If you see big old message popping up there, um, if people are welcome, uh, glad to have you. I really am. And uh, please let me know if there's anything I can do in the uh, in the campaign to better myself because I'm not great at this game by any means. So, but yeah, um, what was I saying? I just try to be diverse like that. So, I mean, in the summers, I might not stream as much. Hint, hint. Um, so, when that comes around again. But, for right now, man, this is uh, this is what I do. It's going to be winter time. And in the winter, I don't like to venture out into the, uh, the negative degrees as much. So, I like to stay inside and play games a little more often than I do in the summer. And here we are. Getting towards winter. Getting a little chillier. And here I am inside playing my games. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm still fighting this flu. Cold hits, and then I got a flu coming on. It only makes sense. Only makes sense. Uh, let's see. We got one, two, three, four, four sets of towers. Beautiful. Um, I do need to worry about a, a rebellion happening here soon, though. What are we at on public order? 83. It's not terrible. It's not great. Um, I do want to build up some open. Uh, maybe not here, though. Who shop team? No, 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 no. Uh, growth. Let's do growth. That's what we should do. Okay, temple's fine. Captain needs to replenish a little more. 
And I can't move him there and replenish, sadly. Man, you're taking forever to replenish. Get your, get, you know, get your stuff together. Hurry up. What are you doing on the mountains, Ark? You out there picking berries and stuff again? Okay, so four more turns there is what I saw. That's fine. We need to take Clark Rond here. Um, we'll move our armies north and, and help that. Vol's Anvil is the next target, though. Uh, Strike Core Venom Blade. Ooh. Where's that imminent rebellion going to happen? Is it going to happen up here? If it does, we might have to move Captain North. So let's do this. Let's move you over to Temple. And make sure you're ready to go for any possible rebellion up there. What? Oh, right on, man. Ch chilling in the mountains, that ain't a bad deal at all. You got the right idea. We got to do Shopti for the first time. Loving it. Um, but yeah, man, I, I love getting outdoors in the summer. I absolutely love it. Especially being up here in Alaska, you got to enjoy your time outside. You really do. Because in the winter, it's cold. It can be a little miserable. And uh, me personally, I know, I know this sounds a little crazy, but living in Alaska, I'm not a huge fan of the cold. Um, but the summers make it worth it, man. They really do. And I'm sure you get that. You live in a, that northern hemisphere with me. Getting up there towards the Arctic Circle. You know what's going on, Narc. We got that going. Okay. So we just have the Lich Staff I need to get back to one of these days. Uh, let's check Diplomacy. We haven't looked at Diplomacy in a while. Nagareth, how you so doing, man? Um, do you actually want to... You know what? Go ahead and just target Marathi there for me. Septic, I don't even know where you are, dude, but we're probably going to end our non-aggression with you here shortly. Thinking now. And Clan Rictus. Call me Lord Craven Tail. Make camp live without people. What Fantastic idea, Take man. Betray me first. I gnaw on your bones. Mm, no. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's fantastic get out there, you know, just be away from people at times. Just do your own thing. Don't have to hear cars driving by, don't have to worry about hearing your neighbors or anything. Just doing you out there. It's absolutely fantastic. Peaceful beyond belief. And the turn there, moving on. How far up do you go, Ark? Do you know what your elevation is when you're up there? And you're probably going to give me something in meters, and I'm going to have to convert it over real quick. But, uh... Oh, my gosh. Sorry, I had to stretch on that one. Um... I know that on my... Oh. Really? How is he... I thought I was laying siege. How... Oh, this is... This is going to be a rough fight, isn't it? I know that when I was up in my... Uh, my hunting camp, we were sitting around 4,000 feet. Which I don't know how to convert to meters off the top of my head. Um... I think that's somewhere around like 1,100 meters, if I had to guess. Because uh, I believe it's three meters or three feet and a meter. I don't know if anyone's in the chat that does math a little better than I do. Please help me out on that one. Oh, we're being ambushed. I probably should pay attention to that. Okay, that's fine. Let's get you guys moving out. Take that flank. Let's just pop you out like so. Charge in over there. Let's get you... Oh. You buggers. Uh, Necrotech, let's get you back over here to these clan rats, please. Um, let's actually pull you guys back a little bit.
Pop that Spear Leech. Pop that Banishment. Get the Skull Storm going as well. Arcane Conduit, please. Thank you very much. Move that in there. Pop a leadership buff for them there. Keep popping our buffs. We're going to lose that Nekar Warrior there on the side. That's a shame. It is what it is. Oh, we need to get you guys moving this way now. Start firing into those clan rats. We lost that Nekar warrior, that's a shame. No, 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 no. That's not happening. Let's keep moving you around. Popping a melee defense buff right there. We've got a second army moving in. Let's actually get these guys positioned up. Start firing down on that army there. Chase them down with those chariots. Storm on the back end there. Get that Necrotech back in this fight. We do have a new Shopti, but I'll hold off on that one for now. Let's go target that down real quick. Fireball there. Please and thank you. Absolutely get that going. Oh, let's get you out of that fight. No, 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 no. Definitely don't need to lose you. That would not be okay. Good try, though. All right. So we got to get you back into this fight here, please. And thank you. Get you back into that fight as well. Um, oh, my God. My poor, poor archers. I am so sorry. You guys are getting absolutely shredded. Hopefully you're getting some damage in, though, yourselves. Those play claws are sitting back. I'm a little... You know what? Maybe this isn't the best use of Ushopti, but I want to get rid of these play claws immediately. Are you back into a fight? You, Staker, get out of there. You know what? Get in there. Go do some. Go do some work. Go have some fun. Oh, let's get you guys out of that fight, though. We need to move you out of there. Go get into those night runners. I have got nothing to slow those guys down, though. Get out of that fight, man. How many times I got to tell you that? Power 
Get moving. Get out of there. Don't you dare die on me. You cannot die. That is not okay. Good try. You almost did. No! Damn it! Damn, damn, damn! This does not look good for me. Oh my gosh. This isn't going to go well at all. No. Won't let me cast it. It's being a little bit of a pain. Cast it, please. Thank you very much. Oh, actually. Get moving out of there, please. We can group up on their leadership, maybe. Hard, maybe. Really hard, maybe. Pop a shot off on them, please. Get back into that fight. Come on, come on. Can't believe I lost. Ah, My freaking Lich Priest. That was poor done. Ugh. Poorly done. Very poorly done. It is what it is. We'll learn. We won't screw up like that again. Get out of those rat ogres, dude. Now well, that's the end of it. Fabulous Frankie, Shadra, thanks for the follows, man. Just now catching your names in there. Sorry I didn't see him earlier. Sorry that uh, you guys are watching this terrible fight go down at the moment. Oh my gosh. Absolutely terrible. See if we'll even let him cast it. Nice. Yeah, this is not going to go well. <laughs> this is basically over, and I'm just riding it out to the last second. Okay, so I was decently close. He said 275 meters equals uh, 900 feet, so it's a uh, what's that? A little more than uh, three feet to a meter. Is the Arrow Titan gonna pull it out for us? Let's see.
Now, now this is it. This is where the cookie crumbles. I mean, I do have Tretch Terrified, which is good. Night, Rich. It was good talking with you, man. Valiant defeat. Get out of here. Gosh. 238 kills on Contep. 617 kills on the uh, Lich Priest of the Light. Holy moly. Arrow Titan with 159, 243 on the one chariot. I did poor micro with him early on. And that's honestly probably what brought me down there at the end. Oh my gosh. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> No, not Katep. If he just didn't have that settlement garrison, that would have been it. But he did, so that's the end of me. Oh my gosh. That's all right, though. We'll bounce back. We will bounce back. I think we lost our Necrotech. Killed in battle. Yep. However, our Lich Priest was only wounded, and our uh, Katep was only wounded, so we'll get them back, which is nice. Alrighty, so we can get quite a few Tomb Guard now. So let's actually stop recruiting these poor units that we don't need. Um, let's do this. That's fine. We do need a couple Skeleton Warriors. It'll be fine. Um, I do want a front row of about five shields. So then, after that, ooh, maybe less shields, huh? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And then we need to get him a hero. Hmm. Tough melee defense. Poison attack. Okay, so you're defending there. Venom Glade shouldn't be too easy to take down. Not to mention he is pretty injured. Um, he shouldn't be able to run from me though, right? So what do I have? Four towers. Oh gosh, I'm having to readjust here. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. This should be enough. Let's let's give it a shot. Oh, 
Oh, goodness. I'm thinking that this might be my last fight. Because with this sickness beating me up, my voice is uh, starting to hurt a little bit. I think this will be my last fight for the night. And then I'm going to relax and watch someone else stream. Because that sounds a little easier to do. Alrighty. Um, that'll work. Let's put you for... Ah, uh, you're fine right there. And then we'll just put you all behind them. Archers will put out to one of the flanks. Which flank do we want to do, though? Uh, let's do this far flank. It is Skaven, so we do need to worry about them popping their little spawn units. So we'll put a... Oh, no, we got chariots. What am I doing? Catapult, get up on the hill and do your job, man. Do you. Keep these two chariots with a catapult. These two with the archers. Keep these guys in a group here. Oh, didn't mean to do that, my bad. Then you six. Just pile you up behind the towers. And then we should be good to go. It's not, there's no way to balance that. Oh, aha, found it. Then we'll toss you all up like so. Left flank is completely deserted. Hmm. Think I'm gonna do, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? I think I'll move them like so and just get them out of that cone there. They're going to take some shots, but it is what it is. Aha! Yeah, we're taking some unnecessary losses there on the archers. Um, it'll be alright though. Not sure why the towers are doing this little crisscross, but that's alright. Getting some decent shots in there with the uh, catapult. Not great, not terrible. And this is why we have the chariots standing by. Oh, goodness. Nice shot. Um, let's get that catapult firing in on these guys up top now. Let's get you climbing up in here. Oh, this one archer's got stuck back. Keep moving. There they go, okay. So, interesting. It says they're not firing. But, obviously very clearly firing.
good shots from the catapults now. Did we take down the front gate? Is that what we did? No, we did not. Um, you know what? Don't worry about taking down the front gate. Just climb that tower. Pop our debuff right there. Archers are firing, doing their thing. Actually, chase down the storm room real quick for me. Awesome, and then we can pop these of Shopee back here. Get those play claws, please. Thank you very much. Alright. Did we bust down those gates yet? No, that's right, we didn't bust them down. Um, we don't own them yet either, so my chariots are just sitting back there useless at the moment, which is sad. Play Claw, or not Play Claw, my catapult, excuse me, is doing a very fine job. Shutting down their Play Claw at the moment. Actually, that's not a smart choice. Oh no, I had the wrong wrong thing clicked. I was fine. Woo! Victory! It was not as clean as I was hoping for. We didn't lose a unit. So, at the end of the day, it wasn't terrible. Catapult did a good job for us. Neckar Warriors did a great job up there. 214 kills by that Warlock Engineer. Oh my gosh. Absolutely just dug into us. Not great. Ugh. Victory! Yes! <laughs> Alright, so I don't think I want to take this one, so we're just gonna sack it. Walk away. My will be done. We'll come over here to Venom Blade. Yeah, okay. So we'll replenish here, which will be nice. Would you ma Winds of Magic Preserve. Reserve. Oh, I can't even talk. Oh, definitely the end of the night for me. <laughs> oh. Uh, Casket of Souls, that's nice. Casual Replenishment, Local Recruitment, Ushapti, love it, I do. Tomb Princes, Leadership, Melee Defense. Mm. You know, I'm thinking... Recruit Rank, I think I'm going to go with the Winds of the Magic and the Missile Damage for the Skeleton Archers. I think I'm going to go with... Awesome. And then let's check our other armies. We lost the one. Oh my gosh. It's painful to think about. It really truly is. You need to pop in there. Trustworthy, diplomatic, public order. What do you need? Need three turns? Okay. So we'll pop you in here to Hag Hall. Start building up your army. Uh, not that you can do much. Oh my gosh. Y 
Yeah, that's what we'll do. Um, get rid of one of those guys, actually. Three, four, okay. Yeah, um, that should be fine. And then we have our Lich Priest coming back here in a little bit. Playing the dogs, what can I do for you? Absolutely. All right. All right, so that looks like the end of this turn. All right, guys, I'm going to call it a night there. Sorry for not streaming longer. Um, still fighting this flu right now, so it's kind of kicking my butt. Um, so again, like I was saying uh, earlier in the stream, I plan to start streaming Mondays and Wednesdays as a sure thing. Uh, stand by on the time for those streams. Um, probably similar to the times that I'm doing right now. It's going to be like mid-afternoon for me to late night for me, Alaska time. So talk about 4 p.m. Alaska time. Um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I don't have any sure times on those because I end up working Fridays, Sundays pretty often. And then I have my uh, once a month thing for the National Guard where I got to go in and work all Saturday and Sunday as well. Um, so this Saturday, I might do late Saturday night. And then Sunday, I might do Sunday morning. Friday, I don't know if I'll get any at all in. So sorry about that, but I'll get a more definitive timetable set up in my uh, profile here in a bit. And then uh, my social media accounts are on there, and I'll start trying to use those as well uh, a little more. So thanks again, guys, for stopping in. Thanks for the new follows, and I hope to see you guys again on the next one. So have a good night.